Uh, now we're going to go with this. Uh, Jérôme David, uh, he is working for the French Federation, just as uh, Patrice. Jérôme David has uh, pioneered a program. He will talk about that. He very recently was one of the nominees in an award that the United Nations gives out every year to uh, social responsibility sports programs, I think. Yes, it is. Yeah. And uh, let's talk about Handyfly. Let's begin with the teaser. Handyfly. Sorry, had to improvise a little bit here, so. We're going to have afterwards two more presentations. One is, uh, is Andre here. So four years ago, we had the opportunity to get supported by the uh, Erasmus program of the Uni European Union to run uh, Andy Fly Euro Challenge. That was uh, the first competition for disabled people in skydiving uh, with tandem masters. Uh, it was a success. We had uh, the year after uh, the second challenge in uh, Belarus, Minsk, and then in Russia, and last year in Portugal. Now the new challenge is um, to have um, them competing in complete autonomy. We are able to compete in tandem. We would like to, to have them being able to, to fly really alone and to, to have special formats for them. For the European Union, this could be a strong modern mediatic symbol of social inclusion. And our is objective is to have a mass development all around the world. The project will be submitted to Bruxelles on April, and we will have the results on September. In September, we will decide if we go or no go. We have a double mission on this project. First is to run a mass development program through the consolidation of a network of wind tunnel partners to experiment, implement, and disseminate best practices for the first accompanied flights, solo progression, and competition. This program will be during one year. Also, we would like to organize the first World Andy Fly Wind Tunnel Competition in Marseille, France. We will have three phases. The preparation, 
that will consist of conducting the first flight and the progression programs to develop, to test, and also to prepare for a large participation of autonomous disabled people being able to come in Marseille and compete. Then the event, which will be packaged as a multi-activity public event, including competition, fl first flights, exhibitions, seminars, conferences, as much things as possible. And then after, a capitalization, where we will also uh, go on with the first flights and progression program, and then open to new uh, wind tunnel partners for a dissemination program. And of course, in mind to have the goal to schedule a new event in, two, in 2022. We are here today to open officially a call for application to select nine wind tunnel partners. We need one from each European country. The selection of the partners will be on May and the application is registered now, so you can contact me directly. The conditions is just to have a minimum diameter of 12 feet for your wind tunnel, and of course, to be established in a member state of the European Union or a participating in the Erasmus program like Norway. The grant for each partner, uh, we will uh, give funding for communication operations, for running the first flight program, the progression program, and also to have travelled for experts. The difference between the first flight and the progression program, first flight program in our mind is one shot fly. It's uh, the first time the person comes and discovers. The progression program is to have him uh, coming back and flying, flying again, going to autonomy, being able to come to participate to the competition. We will also uh, supply some uh, orthoses and promotional films and tutorials about the best practices. And then we will have a full support of 10 persons per wind tunnel partner coming in Marseille for the event, including travel. The, commits, the commitments we, we need, we, we, have, we don't need money, we just need participation. Of course, we will have to establish an, an agreement with the French Skydiving Federation. And then we just need from you to recruit disabled per persons to provide and manage the framework staff to be able to organize the flights, to organize one inaugural, inaugural day, including a press conference, to manage the communication and media action, and to achieve a minimum of first flights, training flights, and media spin-offs volumes. We don't, we don't wait uh, partners to invest more money than the one we will bring to them, but we need their participation, their manage and management and cooperation to having this project uh, living. And of course, we are uh, waiting from the partner to coordinate and to send us a delegation at the event, uh, including a minimum of three disabled persons being able to compete, and two more disabled persons being uh, able, wishing to do a first flight in Marseille during the event. You can have more information about working program on this uh, website. You can contact me and maybe to close and to be not too longer, we can have a three more minutes movie where you will have some more information. Thank you. Okay, let's play that movie and uh, then we're going to switch to our last uh, presenter.
after the success of the Handyfly Euro Challenge that has been supported by the Erasmus Plus Sports Programme of the European Union since 2016, the French Skydiving Federation has now a new strong challenge. We plan to bring together several wind tunnel partners all around Europe. First, to conduct a discovery campaign and then to disseminate a mass development program all around the world. With the wind tunnel experience, my dream now is to fly by myself, to learn how to move back and forward and climb up and down. Before my domestic accident, I was a skydiver jumping from plane in the army. With a special pair of orthesis, Laurence has been able to fly solo very quickly. I dream of new innovating materials. With disabled persons being able to fly alone, we could imagine and test many kinds of competition formats. Cyril, what do you think of this wind tunnel and the fly program? Uh, for me, the wind tunnel and the fly program uh, will help me one day, and it's my dream to be able to jump from a plane. In reality, this program is more than just flying without a wheelchair. It's also sharing with able-bodied, disabled, all together. And I have to tell you something. For me, when I'm flying and I can see my wheelchair outside, I think I'm like a bird. My disability is a bit changing and sometimes I can't see it anymore. Thank you very, Thank very you. much, Jérôme. <laughs> Please, Jan, come on up here. Just as a, as a personal note, when I got into this sport, I got into it as, a, as an uh, instructor. I taught many, many students, and I taught uh, students that had handicaps, and that was probably, of all the training activities I've done, the most rewarding experience, having someone that really normally wouldn't do this, and you make it work somehow, <laughs> And uh, it's gratifying, not just for the person who does it, but for you as well. Now, Jan is the other uh, instructor who is our uh, instructor. Uh, 